What's up strangers, it's your boy, the guy who keeps saying more or less, and in today's video, we have a battle against the Tech 9 versus the Super Shorty. Now, I mainly made this decision, or this video, because, mainly because, Super Shorty is infamous because it is super bad, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually use it in the 15,000 games I've actually played, and in the Tech 9, I've seen a, quite a few people play it, but use it but i'm pretty sure it's mostly because nobody really uses it or nobody really has it these days but it is a very good gun and the super short is also a pretty decently good gun but in today's video we're going to be deciding which one is a better one with facts and the first challenge is the damage the damage for the tech 9 is 18 body shot and basically of course any body shot and for the super shorty it is a total of 25 times 4 pallet pellets now, of course, Super Shorty is a shotgun, so the closer the target is, the more damage they do, while for the tech, it's whatever distance they are, and you'll still do the same damage on the body shot. So for that, the Super Shorty does get a point for that, because it does more do, does more do, does, for fuck's sake, it does do more damage at closer range, but at farther range, it basically does nothing. So for that, the Super Shorty gets a point. The next question is, which one has the better headshot damage? For the Tech 9's headshot damage, it is a total of 27 for a headshot damage. Uh, with one bullet, I'm pretty sure. Super Shorty, on the other hand, it has a 36 at least headshot damage in the face. Now, of course, same thing. The closer the target is, the more damage they do for the headshot, especially. So, for that, the Super Shorty does get another point because, of course, the more damage, the more, of course, the more chances you have of, of course, winning. Now, finally, to the next challenge, which is the rate of fire. The Tech 9 has a total of 0 0.8, 0 0.08 free to fire, meaning you will shoot crazy fast, killing with effective with ease, but that does mean you will run out of ammunition quite fast. For the Super Shorty, on the other hand, it has a total of 0 0.7 rate of fire, meaning you will still shoot infected quite fast, but just not fast enough to actually kill them, meaning you won't be able to, you'll take a lot longer to actually kill the infected, which means you will die faster, if that makes sense. So for that, the Tech 9 gets finally a point. The next question, I guess, is the magazine. The Tech 9 has a total of 8, 80 bullets, of course, 20, 20 bullets in each magazine and 80 bullets on the side, meaning 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, meaning 4 clips on the side, plus the clip you have, meaning 5 mags in total. The Super Shorty, on the other hand, has 18, or technically 19, 20, 21 bullets in total. Three bullets in each magazine, meaning, of course, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, meaning 6 magazines, plus the one you have is meaning 7 magazines in total. Unfortunately, the Super Shorty does have a lot more ammo, but at the same time, the Tech 9 kind of does, but really Super Shorty has a lot more ammo and kind of lasts a little tiny bit more longer. So for that, the Super Shorty does get another point for that. Finally, we have the accuracy. The Tech 9's accuracy is quite strange because it's basically, of course, a close range weapon. And the closer a target is, the more damage they are going to do. And, of course, the bullets do go everywhere in, within a close range, so your bullets do tend to miss quite often. But, if you are, if you have a zombie that's chasing you and you take it out, the chances of you hitting headshots and a body shot is very likely, and plus with the rate of fire and everything else, it does, of course, add more damage, but the bullets do go crazy, so the accuracy isn't really that good. The Super Shorty, on the other hand, has its rate of fire of, I mean, rate of fire, its accuracy being quite, of course, up to date. It's just that the bullets, of course, just go a little bit more stretched out the, the farther they shoot out. So, yes, the accuracy is a little bit on more point. It, the bullets just go stretch and spread out a little bit more. But since this is, of course, the accuracy, the, the Super Shorty does get another point because of that. Finally, we have any abilities. Do any of these guns have any abilities? Technically, none of these weapons have any abilities because, I mean, they're just weapons. They don't have any abilities, but at the same time, other weapons do have any abilities. The only thing I found with the Super Shorty is that it does one-shot hunters literally within range, but eh, that's not necessarily an ability, so basically, since they don't have any abilities, nobody gets a point here. Finally, we have the price. 
Basically, when the Super Shorty was first introduced into the game, it had like about uh, a week, I believe, like that. Somewhere around the price had a discount to like at least 700 diamonds. But after like the week discount thing, it finally went back up to its now permanent price of 1,050 diamonds, which I guess is pretty cheap, just 50 more diamonds than the laser pistol, but literally I would say go for the laser pistol than this, so that's kind of a strange one. Tech 9 on the other hand doesn't have a price because you needed to actually, the only way to earn it was you had to basically complete a challenge which I'm pretty sure was to log in, oh no actually, complete like about getting kills within humans and zombies and also collecting jingle bells in the Christmas event to actually earn the prize of earning it. And you, you can't really decide which one is more better but since this gun was technically free and plus it is of course like free and everything else can get it and literally it was only a one time thing I would say Tech Knight technically does win this because I mean who really wants to pay 1000 diamonds for not really of a good weapon and who wants to get this really good weapon for free you know so for that the Tech Knight does get a point next we have it's the, pop the popularity between these weapons the popularity between the Tech-9 and the Super Shorty is kind of a strange one because you don't see many people using these guns. I think it's because the Tech-9 is of course a one-time only deal, a one-time only event and not many people have it and the Super Shorty was just an incredibly awful weapon and nobody uses it. But I do see more people using the Tech-9 than the Super Shorty. The only other time I saw someone using the Super Shorty was I believe yesterday or something like that i don't remember i was using i was going for, through footage and i actually saw someone using it and i'm like wow that's a rare person and it was mostly because i mean nobody uses that weapon because it's incredibly awful while the tech 9 is a very decently good weapon just that nobody uses it because i mean i'm pretty sure nobody even unlocked it or it was because nobody uses it these days but i do say that the tech 9 does have a little bit more popularity because of its reputation and it's just a lot more of a gun that I do see a little tiny bit more of people actually using. So for that, the Tech 9 does get a point. Now finally for the fun scale. Which gun does give you the most, I guess, entertainment when using? The Super Shorty is not necessarily. When I use this thing, I was expecting, you know, to have like a lot of fun be like, Oh, this is pretty good. Or, oh, this is kind of a challenge sheet. No. The only thing I saw was just basically disappointment where I'm just like, dang, dude, this range or um, width of all the bullets going like kind of spreading outwards, especially the damage was just not even fun. I used it a few times in these game clips, but most of the time I just used my other weapon and for that I just didn't really find any joy of using it. The Tech 9 on the other hand was an incredibly nice weapon because it just destroyed, destroyed, um, what's it called? infected HP but but does run out of ammo quite fast but in reality I would say that the Tech 9 is a lot more fun to use because of its high fire rate and basically it's just so much fun to use when you're destroying infected HP plus it's a secondary and it's quite a fun it's a quite a fun weapon super shorty not really because of its damage and it's just not really good in its sense so for that this Tech 9 also gets another point now we're finally on to the last question of this, and that is, which of these guns would I suggest? And I think it's pretty obvious which one I would suggest, and that is the Super Shorty. The Super Shorty has a lot more basic um, counters to the Tech Knight, I'm just joking. The Tech Knight obviously wins this. The Tech Knight is a weapon that's basically the Vector's and I'm guessing maybe the Uzi's child, but mostly the Vector's child. This gun is incredibly a fast-paced weapon with a lot of, a lot of, I guess, damage with its incredible amount of fire rate. If it wasn't for the damage, then this gun would be incredibly awful. But since its damage is pretty decently high and its incredible amount of fire rate and ammunition, you are able to destroy enemies' HP with it with ease and with basic little time. Meaning, of course, you do have a lot of fun with that. You do, have, of course, have to go. Every now and again, which I mean like every probably 15-ish seconds to go to get ammo. That is a downside, but really this gun is a lot more fun to use and a lot more reliable with its damage, mobility, and basic looks. And really because, I mean, it's a free gun. Who doesn't want that? 
and also the fact that of course it's damage, fire rate, and all that. So really, I would have to give it to the Tech Knight. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty easy battle, but. The Super Shorty does fall in a category where it's incredibly awful, and that's the fact that it's it damage and basic range ammunition, especially if it's price, it's just not good enough. If I were to actually make any changes, I would say probably give the damage a little bit more of a buff. I mean, it's called the Super Shorty, so you would expect the damage to be incredibly strong, but not too strong, but this is just not that strong. It's not even good, good. So, in conclusion, the Super Shorty's damage is not good at all. Its basic um, price is just questionable because I would probably put it at 700 diamonds, not 1,000, really. And really, I would probably just turn this into a coin weapon because, like, it's not that good. While the Tech Nine, on the other hand, is incredibly useful and incredibly strong, fun-paced weapon that is basically a weapon that you would use if you just started playing this game but of course it is an event item so if you did play the event and, and you just started of course then you could just be like oh i'm gonna use this gun but if you didn't then i guess you'd be confused on why people are using a secondary that is really fast paced and very very oh yeah i forgot to also mention that this gun actually does have a tie with the super shorty by what i believe is about four points let me check it out yep four points but since the suggested one is, of course, the final uh, question, it does necessarily get another point because I did technically suggest it being like, hey, this gun's better and stuff like that. So, yeah, Tech Knight does win just barely by one point. And yeah, you should feel good about that.